Welcome back to the human evolution. Oh, we got our first neighbors. It seems like a couple of dinosaurs have formed a tribe of their own. I am pretty sure that, that is definitely not historically accurate. Anyway, where we last left off. We met the Homo sapiens. Oh. We should revert back to monkey. Back to monkey? Everybody agrees? Yes, back to monkey? We should go back to monkey. Humans are assholes, man. Anyway, let's begin our little tribal life. Now listen, I've been thinking. In the previous episode, we made the Homo sapien and we gave him some basic clothing. It was supposed to represent some type of fur or something. But I, I think we can do better. I, I want something better. I think we need to upgrade from the skirt. I mean, come on. We got a neighbor tribe of dinosaurs. I don't know. I feel like we gotta step up our game here. Oh, oh, one of the dinosaurs is attacking our pet. <gasps> Wait a minute. No, if I remember correctly, we had three pets. We had three of them. We had a platypus and we had two dinosaurs. This guy must have come over here. I can't. No, no, sir. He's collecting the meat of our pets. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, and we're just letting him get away. Get him. Come on, get him before he reaches his tribe. Mm, okay, you know what? Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll let him go for now. But we shall start preparing. Yes, preparing for the day that he shall wish that he never did the thing that he did that we didn't like that he did. He, he's gonna wish that he didn't do that thing. We shall start by increasing our numbers. And get three of them, uh, them, them human eggs because that we we all know that's that's how that's how we are born. All right, so we have increased our numbers, but my plan doesn't end there. No, like I just said previously, I feel like we are in need of an upgrade. We need to outfit our human in an outfit that will strike fear into our enemy dinosaur truck thingy. We need to equip our humans with an outfit that will strike fear into our enemies' hearts. I just don't think the first skirt is gonna do that. It will be a different kind of fear. All right, so let's see just how we can upgrade this guy's outfit. Uh, let's go.
Okay. So here we got our new homo sapiens, everybody. Now, when it comes to the style that I went for, I originally looked at a couple of images from a few Mayan tribes. But then I decided to throw a little bit of Africa in there, a little Native American, a little bit of everything. I want this to be a little cocktail of human history. I don't know, man. It looks dope, though. Well, maybe that's just what I have to say, because he looks like he could definitely whip my ass if I would say anything differently. N nice clothes, sir. Very nice clothes. Please don't beat me up. Also, you may notice that I changed the complexion of our dude, which I think has been a long time coming. Our ancestors obviously lived in a warmer climate, or at least warmer climate than I live in, so their bodies most probably had a lot more melanin to protect them from the sun. It's just logic. Yeah, and fossil records. Mostly logic, though. I know that this suit is not historical at all. I, at least I don't know of a civilization that used this mixture of clothes and 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 the symbols and stuff but i just i just love this combination of things So we already have a full tribe, but so do our enemies, nasty little buggers. What we don't have though is weapons. We need the throwing spears, which cost 25 DNA. So we could either pick some fruits or kill some birds. <gasps> Look at these birds. Wow, okay, we got some diversity when it comes to birds. Let's kill them all. Yes, let's send half of our tribe to kill these birds right here. There we go. And half of my tribe to kill these birds right over over there. Yes, kill all the birds. It's kind of hard to see here in the shadows, but you can obviously see that there is murder of birds happening. Why is a member of the dinosaur tribe looking at us? I don't trust him. I don't know. It just doesn't really seem that trustworthy. He got red eyes. That's usually not a good sign, according to cartoons. That's where I get all my survival tips. It's kept me alive so far, so I'm pretty sure that you can do that. All right, so the killing of the birds has given us 71 DNA points, which is more than enough to buy both the spears and the wooden horns. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did, so enjoy it. Alright, cool. So they really like their wooden horns. Wow, great wooden horns. But look at this, guys. Weapons! Yeah, that's what, that's what we really want now, isn't it? Yes, grab your spears, everybody. It's time to do a little genocide. <laughs> Now, before we go ahead and absolutely destroy the brown village, we got we got a thing. We got a little thing. So in the creature stage, we actually managed to get the adaptable trait, which was quite surprising because I was so sure that we would get the predator, but we got the adaptable, which gave us the beastmaster ability. Now, what the beastmaster ability does, look at this, look at this magic that I'm about to perform. Let's say that, uh, look at these dinosaurs. Ooh, they're very cool dinosaurs, and I would love to bring them with me to war for some reason. Well, now we can. Look at this. We bring our little chieftain over to these unsuspecting dinosaurs. Get them, get them. Oh, no, 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 don't attack them. That's not what I was gonna do. Oh, I'm not even sure if it's gonna work now. You know what? They have completely forgotten the fact that we just attacked them, and they have now decided to pledge their lives to us. Meaning, now we can go and destroy the brown village. Raider spotted another tribe is a wait a minute that's not how it works we're we're attacking you I think something got lost in translations here well let's hope that we destroy them before they destroy us do we actually care about the villagers the brown villagers or should we just go ahead and destroy their hut because it doesn't really seem like they can stop us it seems like we're doing just fine oh wait a minute one of us just died well other than that we're doing just fine now look at that just fine. Genocide with no casualties. It's never been heard of before. All right, so there we go. We have destroyed the brown village, just like I said we would. And with that, we got three new neighbors. We got the green tribe, which is yet another tribe of dinosaurs. Oh, and they hate us too. Okay, why do all the dinosaurs have something against me? Then we got the pink village, and they are what? What is that? That's that's a koala. We got a we got a tribe of koala. <laughs> Okay, sure, why not? We got a tribe of koalas. Cool. 
Oh, man. The babies look absolutely horrifying. What? <gasps> no way. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. It doesn't matter. The pink tribe does not matter. Look at what I just found. I found John Cena. That's right. I just found John Cena, baby. We need we need a couple of those as pets. We need a couple of those as pets, my dudes. You need at least 15 food to feed a while. Okay, got it. No problem. I can do that. I can do that. I know that we still got one more tribe to check out, but guys, I need I need to tame the John Cena. We, we got a wild John Cena on our hands. Can you just imagine having a freaking John Cena protecting your tribe at all times? That would be magnificent. <gasps> oh, look at this. What a throwback. We got the amphibia as a tribe right here. If you haven't watched the first episode of the series, what are you doing? Because if you would have, you would have recognized these guys as our starter stone on land. Oh, it's so, so cool. I don't want them as pets though, because if I remember correctly, they are quite weak. Very weak. Anyway, let's grab our chieftain now, because we do have over 15 food. Let's see, let's find the pink village. Where was that? It was over here. So, the John Cena's should be... Yes, there they are. Oh, man. Raider spotted. No, I am in the middle of collecting a John Cena. Oh, it's the green dinosaurs. They are approaching. That's not good. I don't, I don't like the fact that they're doing that. Where's my village? I have lost track of my village. Where am I? There I am. Stupid raiders. I was just about to get a John Cena. Wait a minute. Who is this? Wait, are we being attacked by two tribes? Right. Pause, pause the game. Pause the game real quick. I thought we were just being attacked by the green dinosaurs. Those guys right there. Green. Now, I may be colorblind, but I'm pretty sure that they, that's not green. That is cyan right there. What are are you doing holding a flaming torch right next to my village, sir? It's not very kind of you. Let's see what you are doing. Are you indeed raiding us? Don't do anything stupid now. Okay, they're just waving their flaming torches around. They're not doing anything harmful as of yet. Oh, but a fight seems to have initiated anyway. Why? All right, well, we killed that guy. Those guys kind of seem like they don't really care. Maybe that was like the annoying guy in their pack and they're just kind of relieved like, oh, thank God. Barry is gone. Stupid Barry. All right, well, let's fix up our hut real quick. And you know what? Let's collect a little bit more food because we wasted all of the food that we were gonna give John Cena. He's a big man. He needs a lot of food. All right. So while we wait for our food to go up, oh my, no, I don't want a raid. Stop it. Stop raiding me all the time, please. Oh, it's the Cyan Village this time. You know what? Uh, I am going to not care for just a little bit because I want the John Cenas. We have waited long enough. Let's get our chieftain over here. Oh, this Cyan tribe is already here. Okay, fine. Let's... Oh, my God. It's the koalas. I wanted to make friends with the koalas. Let's see. Hold up. What if we give them a gift? Will they not attack us if we give them a gift? Okay, here we come bearing gifts. Will they accept our little gifty gift? They seem to have accepted it, but these guys are also attacking me. Seriously. Come on. Oh. Fine, I guess let's just take care of them real quick. Just real, real quick. Right, there we go. The Cyan tribe is gone. Let's uh, fix up our hut again. I'm starting to get a little bit tired of this. Okay, so we got exactly 15 food. Nobody eat. Please, nobody eat. I'm gonna go get ourselves a John Cena. Okay, so our chieftain is already here, which is great. It's fantastic even. Let's get him up on this hill. <gasps> you have domesticated a member of the Mr. Fig... <gasps> have we, we've, we did it. Are you gonna follow us now? Are you our... our is this our pet now? Alright, so I think this is our John Cena right here. Oh, on his way to our little coop. Okay, wow, it's a, it's a big one. It's a big John Cena right there. So now that we have secured a good bodyguard for our tribe, I think we need to start doing something about the whole uh, raiders keep on attacking us issue. First off, let's uh, buy a little baby, because why not? We can always buy a few babies, because apparently that's illegal in this world. And then we're going to take yet another look-see and see if there are any upgrades we can give our little tribal dude. There were no upgrades. No upgrades? Really? Why? Why... Are you doing this to me? Nothing. We got... What is this? I couldn't find any upgrades, so I changed our dude into a spaceship. We're now a spaceship. Yes. Mm, spaceship. Why? Why did I get no up... I got stones. 
great. We can we can add a few stones to our. I don't need. I don't want stones. I want things. Where are my things? All right, so everybody seems to have grown up. We can now equip everybody with their spears. Let's see, we got the Beastmaster thing ready too. So let's see if we got some worthy allies that we can recruit. You know what? These guys served us pretty well the last time. So let's just take a quick little trip right here. Do a little Beastmaster call. Oh, we only got one dinosaur to help us out this time. Well, fine. One dinosaur is better than no dinosaurs. Yes, the math, the math adds up. All right, Zion Village, say goodbye to living. You can stop doing that. We have decided. I'm sorry, it was a unanimous call from, from I and me and myself. We all agreed. All right, so this time we should probably focus on the tribal members first before we start attacking the hut because we don't have the assistance of all the dinosaurs this time. Oh, there are Chieftain Cut. Wait a minute, no way. We brought John Cena with us? <gasps> this is amazing. We got John Cena to fight our fights. Man, he is giant. What a gigantic human being of a man. With John Cena's help, this is a breeze. No issue what's Oh, we have actually lost one guy, but that's, that's fine. <gasps> they killed John C they killed they, they killed John Cena. Not cool, man. Not cool. You you guys got to die now. You guys were going to die before, but now you're going to die double. You're going to double die. Raider spot another tribe is attacking. I'm in the middle of doing things. I wanted to recruit these guys and bring them along with me to the fight against the green tribe. Well, it seems like the green tribe has beaten us to it. What is that? That's a giant penguin right there. What? Why is that pink? Why is that bird? So why is everything so big? The proportions here are all wrong. All right, I guess we need to defend our village before we attack them, which sucks. I don't like it. There we go. We have defended our village with no casualties. So that was that was cool. Since that tribe actually just attacked me, they actually don't have a full tribe right now. So this is perfect. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's go to war, baby. Oh, look at that. We actually managed to get one of the amphibias on our side. He is actually on his way to that tribe. We, we're gonna do an attack job. Actually, we have already begun doing an attack job. <gasps> our chieftain is dead. Oh, no. And because our chieftain is dead, all the creatures revert. They, we don't even get to see them fight. Oh, come. Come on. Okay, this battle is not actually going as well as I thought it would. It's going quite badly, actually. Well, maybe not. We have actually managed to kill off quite a few of them. They actually just get one more. And that's this guy right over there. And he did now. He did. So we can start working on the hut. Oh, some of the dinosaurs have actually respawned and have started doing some... Oh, you know what? Doesn't matter because we, we won. Cool. All right. So let's take a quick little look-see. Don't mind me. I'm just checking through your wardrobe. Oh, yeah. Yes, baby, we got a new mask with combat level 5. Nothing else, but that's fine. This mask is plenty. This is going to allow us to do a few upgrades. So uh, let's let's do that. Let's do let's do a few upgrades. Okay, so here's the deal. I started working on an upgrade to our current tribal dude. But then I realized we are halfway through the tribal stage. And after that comes the civilization stage. We gotta be building skyscrapers, be all sophisticated and stuff. But the problem is we can't just go from a tribal guy to a civilized dude. I mean, you're skipping a few steps there. So since we need a good transition between tribal and civilized, I figured we would jump right into the Middle Ages and get ourselves our own little knight. By the way, some of these creatures take a long time to make. So if you wouldn't mind clicking the like and subscribe buttons, that would just make my day. Anyway, guys, let's get right into the time lapse.
guys. So here we got our knight in shining armor. I actually think he turned out pretty decent. I felt like his armor looked a little bit boring on its own though. So I decided to add these little uh, cloth things uh, around his belt area. I then added a holstered sword and made it so that it looks like his hand is always holding it. Always ready to pull it out and then do the stabbing. Just stabby stabby. Raider spotted another tribe is attacking. Well, luckily we have just upgraded to night, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And we can also buy the stone axes now, meaning we got all the weapons to defend our village. Wait a minute, I want to see how that looks like. Oh man, honestly, when they're holding the sword like that and they're holding a weapon, dude, that looks so cool. I mean, just look at that pose right there. I mean, that is a photograph for the ages, dude. Look at this torch guy. Look how cool he looks now who is it that is attack okay wait a minute they are already here okie dokie oh it's a new village it's the lavender village who are also a pack of dinosaurs and again they do not like me dude seeing these knights attack some freaking dinosaurs i wish history looked like this this is how history should have looked like i would have paid so much more attention in school if this is how history <laughs> If this is how history looked like. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> look at this knight over here. He got like oh. I was gonna say he got like four spears in him, but then he died. So I probably should make fun of him. This guy just got a spear to the butt. That must be uncomfortable. I don't know. Maybe he likes it. Oh, you know what? They have actually managed to kill two of my dudes. Oh, and my chieftain. Oh, this is not good. This is not great. Oh, they have actually dealt quite a lot of damage to our village. They have almost destroyed our flaming torches. Our flaming torches are on fire. It's ironic. Oh, okay. They have actually dealt so much damage to our village. Four of our dudes are gone. What are these guys doing? Why aren't they helping? They don't want to help out. They just they just want to stand around there, not do anything. What? What? This guy is the only one attacking. It's because he has the stone axes. Okay, everybody grab the stone axes so he can actually help out here. Come on, guys, hurry up. Grab your freaking axes already. Oh, now they're helping out. Okay. All right, well, I guess we got to fix the damage that those guys did. Stupid dinosaurs, man. And we got to go buy some babies. Just got to go to the market and buy some babies. Those were different times. All right, so we got a full tribe of knights once more. Honestly, I wasn't so sure of this upgrade when I made it. But now that I see just a bunch of them walking around, ah, I love it, dude. I love it. Anyway, let's get all of the new recruits. Some stone axes. I'm not even gonna bother with the other weapons. I think I think stone axes is enough. And we gotta get rid of those dinosaurs, man. No more dinosaurs, okay? It's time for them to go extinct. It's, it's actually well over time. This is not historically accurate at all. So let's see if there are any creatures that we can recruit along the way. Let's give the birds one more chance to redeem themselves. If they follow us to war and help us take down the lavender dinosaurs well then we'll forgive them for being such pathetic creatures we shall forgive them for that all right so it looks like we have actually managed to enchant them even though they absolutely hate our guts so i guess we should be ready then i never thought i would team up with the birds but we got bigger fish to fry oh <laughs> the birds are coming oh man the gigantic birds why are the birds so freaking big are no more. 
There we go. I think we have destroyed every single enemy that we had on the map, leaving only the pink village. Now, I think it's time for the knights to put away their swords for the last tribe on the map. I want to try to socialize with these pink koalas because I got no issues with the koalas. The koalas are cool. All right, there we go. We have filled up our tribe with babies. Now, let's see what type of instruments we got here. Now, we already got the wooden hordes. Now, if we just get rid of the fishing spears, we can fill up this side with all the instruments. So, let's get four of these knights some didgeridoos. This is probably not the job that they signed up for. And let's get four of the knights some maracas. Oh, those are some giant maracas, man. And then the last three tribal members should grab some wooden horns. There we go. All right, so everybody got their instruments. Now, I wonder if the Beastmaster thing actually works when you're socializing. All right, let's get the chieftain here. I want to see if we can get some John Cena's to help us out with socializing with koalas. Which, now that I think about it, is a really weird sentence to say. <laughs> How does he walk? Why is he walking like that? John, are you okay? John, I'm worried about you. There we go! Man, this, this is definitely historically accurate. There were indeed four John Cena's that helped us socialize with the koalas about uh, around 500 years ago or so. Look it up. It's in the history books. Would I lie? Would I would I lie to you? Yes, I would. But look at this, guys. We managed to complete our totem. The last totem piece being a totem of positivity. A little, a little singing one. It's all happy-like with a mustache. Why does it have a mustache? I've never noticed the mustache mustache before. What? None of the other ones have a... Why does this one have a mustache? You know what? Fine. He can have a mustache. Anyway, before we go on to the civilization stage, why is that pig thing attacking us? Get it. Get it, guys. Kill it. Kill it. Yay. Celebration. Anyway, I don't want to move on to the civilization stage until we have moved on from the knight outfit. I mean, come on. We can't be building skyscrapers dressed up like a couple of role players. No. Not that we have anything against role players. Role players are indeed very cool. But they don't tend to build skyscrapers. So for the last time today, it is time to make yet another complete redesign of our dude. Let's see, what should we make here? We went from like a caveman to a tribal dude to a knight. What is the next logical step? <laughs> okay, I think I know exactly where to take this guy. Let's go.
so here we get our new homo sapien. Man, what a stylish young man. That mustache, though. Hey, I tell you what. If we can get 5,000 likes on this video, I can, I'll, I'll save a mustache like that for the next video. By the way, speaking of the next video, the next video that I will be recording is a video that I wanted to do for quite a long time. Pretty much the idea is that I want to take a bunch of your drawings and remake them in Spore. So if you would like to submit your own drawings, all you gotta do is go to the Discord server that I got linked in the description down below, read through all the rules and all the stuff, and then you go into the Submit Your Drawings channel and uh, submit your drawing. And then who knows, maybe I will recreate it in Spore. Anyway, we got we got our new human. <laughs> but man, I need to see what a whole tribe of these guys looks like. Oh man. Oh, this looks so weird. Oh, why does this look so weird? Ah, uh, I, I am uncomfortable. Why am I so uncomfortable at this site? There are so many blonde gentlemen. Hi. Weird. This just looks weird. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I will see all of your beautiful faces in the next episode. Have a good one, guys.